Hi everybody, I'm here with Ariel Meislos, founder and CEO of Stratascale, to talk about our 2019 Oracle to Postgres migration survey. Hi Ariel. Hi Romy. So um, in the survey, about half of our respondents were still planning their migration and the other half were already in the process or had uh, completed it. Today we want to talk about the top challenges that companies expected compared to the ones they actually experienced in the migration. Um, so tell me Ariel, what challenges did companies expect and, and what were the ones they I mean, actually we, We're seeing a lot of surprises here in this uh, survey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, what, what were those? What kind of surprises? Yeah. Well, we're seeing the, the top challenges, you know, things like minimizing downtime, uh, managing the data migration uh, risks, reliability mm -hmm. and compliance. Certainly large challenges, mm -hmm. but it was surprising to see that in actual uh, life, it was much better uh, mm -hmm. than expected. It wasn't as hard as people mm -hmm. uh, anticipated. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we're seeing things like, you know, uh, managing operations on a day two uh, basis. Uh, uh, you know, open source is expected to be easy, but you can't just throw it over the fence. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's much harder than anticipated. Same thing for implementing hybrid, mm -hmm. as well as uh, uh, self-service mm -hmm. uh, provisioning. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess companies need to consider what they're going to be doing with the, their Postgres databases after their migration. Indeed. And what we are seeing is that uh, this is a driver uh, towards transitioning to managed uh, services. Mm -hmm. uh, over 63% uh, of our respondents mentioned that they're moving uh, to managed services mm -hmm. uh, post uh, transition. Mm -hmm. And it's the kind of things that help with the operational aspects. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so it seems managed services is the way to go. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks, Ariel. Uh, if you'd like to get the full report, click on the link in the description below. There, you can also find links to other videos in our series on the 2019 article to Postgres migration survey.